Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanilungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. Uh, you guys are the best. I hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. They suggested I react to Iman Madi will appear in the month of Ramadan. Very interesting. I don't even know what this will be about, but I'm always excited to um, learn something new. Uh, if you're new, like I said, feel free to drop us the link in the comment section below of anything that you guys want us to react to and we'll be more than glad to react to it. You can follow us on Facebook. Well, you can follow us on Facebook as Funny and Jesse, Instagram as Funny and Jesse, and just enjoy the content that we put out there. I really hope you guys are doing alright and let's get into the video. I would like to make three comments about it and keep this in mind. Number one, the occurrence of a general sign does not necessarily mean that his appearance is imminent. And this is where we have to realize that, you know, we should not just jump onto the conclusion when we see extraordinary signs that the zuhur is imminent. The second point, pandemics such as, you know, uh, coronavirus, are not something new in human history. This has happened in, in past, in different, kinds, uh, uh, different parts of the world. You know, these days we have this global media, so we know what's going on. Many times, you know, it would happen in one part of the world, the other part wouldn't even know about it. But if you study history, you will come to realize that even in holy place, places, in Iran, in Iraq, in Hejaz, Pandemics have taken place to an extent that the masajid were closed there and even the jamaat prayers were suspended. So what we see is happening now is not something, you know, unprecedented and new. We don't know much about history, but if you go and study, you will see in many places of the Muslim areas, uh, these pandemics have happened earlier. And the third point, if you really look at the number of deaths at, at the moment from COVID-19, it comes to around 75,000 people globally. But look at the 2018 report of UNICEF. And you will see that approximately 1.3 million children die from undernutrition every year. And so, you know, put this issue in proper perspective, do not jump to the conclusion that this is the sign of the imminent zuhur of the Imam Ajjalallahu Ta'ala Farjur Sharia. Let me now move on to the specific signs of the zuhur of the Imam. The first one, a voice would be heard from the sky. This will be Angel Jibreel making the announcement and this will happen in the month of Ramadan. And the announcement would be made, Allah in the Sahib Zaman Qad Zahara. Verily, the master of the time has appeared. This announcement will be heard by each and every human being on the face of this world. Irrespective of their language, everybody will be able to understand what is this announcement. Those who will be as asleep, they will wake up when they hear that. Those who will be sitting, for example, will stand up. Means every, everyone, you know, will be alerted that the zuhur and the appearance of the imam has taken place. If you had looked at this hadith, you know, 100 years ago, you might say, you know, how is this going to happen? That there will be one announcement and the whole world will hear about it. With the advancement of man-made means of fast communication that we have now, this concept is not difficult to, uh, you know, understand and accept. If human beings can create, you know, the communication means of announcing things on a global level, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our creator. And this is where Jibreel's announcement will be heard all over the world. So this is the first 
specific sign which will happen in the month of Ramadan of that year when the zuhur takes place. The second specific sign would be that the, before the, the zuhur of the imam, there will be eclipse of lunar and solar will take place in the month of Ramadan, in one single month of Ramadan, but at unusual timings. Lunar and solar eclipse are natural phenomenon. You know, moon eclipse occurs between the 13th and 15th of the lunar calendar. Whereas the sun eclipse happens between 28th and 38th of the lunar calendar. And so this is the norm. So you have the moon eclipse in the middle of the month, sun eclipse at the end of the month. But the extraordinary nature of this sign, of the zuhur of the imam, will be that this eclipse will happen at opposite times. Where the sun eclipse will happen in the middle of the lunar month, and the lunar eclipse will happen at the end of that month. And this will be something very unprecedented and a miraculous uh, you know, sign. And the third one in that list is a Sayyid will appear from the area of Khurasan. Khurasan is the province which is now in the Iran-Afghanistan area. And a Sayyid will emerge from that area and, peop and people will accept him as a leader and they will pledge allegiance to him and he will uh, form a huge army. His army um, will be not stopped by anyone and he will move towards Iraq to face the army of Sufyani and we'll talk about Sufyani after this and he will force the army of Sufyani to retreat from one town to another all the way back to Iraq. However in the final encounter Sufyani's army will prevail and the Sayyid from Khurasan will be forced to flee to Mecca and he will seek refuge there until the appearance of the Imam happens. So let us go on now to the fourth specific sign, which, which is the emergence of Sufyani. Sufyani was a person, uh, will be a person whose name would be Usman. And he will be from the descendants of Anbasa bin Abi Sufyan, from Ali Abi Sufyan. He will appear in Syria. He will be an open enemy of the Ahlul Bayt. He will gather uh, an army in Syria and um, basically he will send a force of 7,000 soldiers to Iraq all the way to Kufa. Sayyid Khurasani's army will engage Sufyani's army and force uh, it to retreat from one city to another. But as I said earlier, Khurasani's uh, forces would be defeated Sayyid Khurasani himself will flee to Hijaz and Sufyani's army will pursue him all the way to Medina. There he will run from, flee from Medina to Mecca. And this is where the Sufyani's army will pursue the Sayyid Khurasani. They will camp for resting in a desert between Medina and Mecca. And this is where the another sign of Zuhur will happen. A voice from the sky will be heard, which will address the earth. O earth, destroy this tyrant's group. And as soon as this voice would be sounded, the earth will open up and the entire army of Sufyani will perish. Very similar to the way the uh, army of Fir'aun perished with the, through water. Sufyani himself will be in Damascus and he will be killed uh, later on near that city. Uh, what I find amazing about this video is the fact that the entire world will hear the same thing at the same time and if you're sleeping you're going to be woken up, if you're already awake you're going to be alert and aware of uh, the, the voice funny thing is i was actually thinking to myself i think this was yesterday i'm like what would happen if we were all maybe awake at the same time and just responding to the same thing um i mean time difference really plays a role but one thing i would want to happen in the world imagine if we're all praying at the same time they would there would be that prayer would have all our prayers would have different 
and all our prayers would actually have an impact because we're all putting our energy together to pray maybe to the same god i mean if such a word um existed but i don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon it would just the the, the prayer would just be out of this world but otherwise um does this really happen during ramadan do you get to hear a voice or it's just hadiths uh saying this is it and is it every ramadan or it's going to be it's going to happen one ramadan perhaps in the future not now but in the future and yeah let me know what you guys actually think about that and if you have the answer to my question please feel free but otherwise if such a thing could happen i would be here for it and i would love to be alerted or be aware of what's happening and yeah let me know what you guys think a big shout out to the person that suggested this if you have something for us to react to let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to react to this make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video